Hope you're wearing a backpack. It's time for to school. Welcome to episode 98 of Podcast But Outside. Wow, we are almost to 99 episodes. Holy crap, and then we stop. No, we're going to keep going. All Why right. do you keep saying that? Forget. You're scaring me and also a Biden. Mm. Uh, this is a great episode. We recorded it at a college, California Lutheran University. Ta-da! Yes, thank you. They booked us. Uh, if you go to college and you want us to show up at your college and talk to you and your people, uh, then you can book us as well by telling your college that you want us and then they email us, podcastbyoutside at gmail.com. Check out our Patreon, new episodes every single week, tons of bonus content on there, some of the best stuff we've ever done. And, they, really, and that, you can take that to the bank. It really is. We're getting lots of comments like this is one of the best interviews I've seen on here. The edits are funny. It's just, it's the Patreon is really thriving right now. And for a little bit of money, you can support us and get extra stuff. And not only just extra stuff each week, but all of the previous weeks before that. For $5, yeah. you unlock everything. everything. That's hours and 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 hours of content. Um, merch on our website as well. I'm doing a stand-up show, actually. The first time I've done an in-person stand-up show since the pandemic started, really. You didn't tell me. Well, I did tell you. Okay. It's on Sunday, April 18th in Los Angeles at this place called Jam in the Van. Um, it's outdoors. It's socially distanced. Everyone's wearing masks. It's as safe as it can be right now. Um, and Who are you texting? Me, uh, no, I'm looking at the lineup. Oh, okay. It's me and my friend Nick Thune, who's been uh, on this podcast before, featuring Moshe Kasher, who's been on this podcast before, Reggie Watts, who's been on this podcast before, Natasha Legero. Whit Whitmer Thomas, who's been on this podcast before, Beth Stelling, and also a couple really huge special guests who we can't announce yet. That's Sunday, April 18th, two shows, 7 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. Tickets are expensive, but the tickets come with, like, drinks and weed, I guess. It's California, <laughs> get high. Um, so the tickets are, even though it's expensive ticket, think of it as a night out, because you get, a, it's like a bunch of alcohol, a bunch of weed, so it's like, actually, you can hang out and... Enjoy yourself for the night. So get tickets to that. It's my first in-person show. I'm very excited about it. LA, Sunday, April 18th. JamintheVan.com or go to my Instagram profile to see the link. Yep, and I am having an in-person sale on my on website, bonfire.com slash store slash titty pussy. Exclusive uh, shirts, limited edition, the ones that actually say the word titty pussy on them. I'm selling those again, limited time. Okay. Um, uh, music this week is by Mac Metter. Wait, hold on. Music... Music, we do a new, th we do a new theme song every week. This song, we do a new fan-made theme song every week. This week is made made by Mac Meter. Meter, M-E-A-D-O-R. He didn't tell us. Come on, man. He lives in Austin, Texas. He makes folksy music, and this is a great song that he made. So thank you, Mac. Gracias, Mac, and enjoy. Bye. Podcast, but outside. Drew and Cole, or whatever his name is today. Podcast, but outside with strangers who start to chat. Will they be friendly? Will they be angry? Will they be racist? Or will they be Andrew's new mom? You never know. Podcast but outside. Podcast but outside. Podcast but outside. Hello. Hey, wait up. Oh, not yet, sorry. Not yet, not yet. Hello and welcome to, to Podcast, Podcast but, but outside. outside. Why do you say the hello in such a soft voice like that? What are you trying to achieve? Well, because you turn me down. That's. I, it would be louder if you would turn me on. But if you want to be heard, shouldn't you speak louder instead of like, hi, I'm no. Cole. That's just an interesting idea. But I love you and I'm sorry I'm being mean. Hey, everyone. If you've never heard or watched the show before, the point of the show is for, well, my name is Andrew. And my name is Q. Wow. Wow. That feels good to get off my chest. <laughs> wow. You, that, that Q I, or a different I one? shouldn't have spoke up. I, Let's, oh, move, let's move past it. That is a huge revelation, and I love your work. Thank you. If you've never heard or watched the show before, the point of the show is for Q and I to set up a table on the sidewalk and interview strangers. We have a sign that's attached to our table that says, Hi, be a guest on our podcast. We will pay you $1. Smiley, smiley face. face. It's actually Velcroed to our table. It is. It's Velcroed to our table, and we actually need new Velcro. So if anyone out there knows where we can get new Velcro, 
Hook leave us. Leave a comment. Leave a comment on the best place to buy Velcro. Or leave a review on our on Apple Podcasts talking about Velcro. That's actually a really good point. The best way to get that information to us, the only thing we read is reviews on Apple Podcasts. Uh-huh. So definitely comment on Apple Podcasts, a review, and tell us about Velcro and anything else you have on your chest. Mm-hmm. Cole just got something off his, ch- off his chest. Yes. Huge weight has been lifted. Um, yeah. So we just talked to strangers. The whole point of the show is just to find folks out there who are interested in talking to us and to gab, gab, gab away. We're normally on the streets of Los Angeles and the surrounding area, but today we're at a college. College. It is time. School is in session and everyone is eager to learn. We are at California Lutheran University. Yeah, and you know, we were this, we were actually asked to come here. Yes, we yes, we've been at a college before. We did a, a, an episode at UC Berkeley and we did that kind of without permission. But now we are officially booked to do California Uni- Lutheran University a nice young students. Yeah, we're getting paid. Yeah, we are. Michaela reached out and offered to book us and we said yes, and it's pretty amazing. We are getting $1,000, which is so cool. Wait, Colt uh, what are you gonna do with your eight hundred dollars? Wait, eight hundred. Yes, you get your 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 portion is eight hundred dollars. What are you gonna do with it? Wait, why is my portion smaller? Then what? Why are you getting more than me? Oh, because um, just the way that they're um the way that they're booking, um, it's uh, based on height, the way they're paying. What? The way that the co- I don't know the way that this college books uh, guests is, they they take it as if they're getting such and such number of inches or feet worth of talent so so they're getting like i'm like around six two and you're probably like five foot or something if i'm five six okay so you're like okay so five six six two okay so they're basically getting um 11 feet and eight inches worth of talent and the uh, the majority of that that talent is coming from me is that true though i don't yeah i'm six two that seems wrong and i didn't tell you about it because i didn't want you to feel bad well you just told me about it Right, and do you feel bad? Yeah. See, I was protecting you. I'm actually kind of a good guy. But Who's now you're doing me? it live on air. Someone's my calling you? Answer dad, it. My dad's, I got, my dad's yeah. calling me. Okay. First guest. Hello, Dad. Hey, Andrew. How are you? Good. I'm actually recording a podcast. You're a repeat guest. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, you're on. You're on the show. Hey, Andrew. Hey, how's, how's, how's the marriage? I mean, the last, the last time a lot of these people saw you was, you know, you and Yvette at the wedding. How, how's the marriage going? Uh, well, it couldn't be better, and you know, and uh, to your uh, one comment person who asked if uh, if Ed and I were still together, I have to say, sorry, we are too bad. We're gonna stay together. We're hey. very happy. Mr. Michon, Cole Hirsch here, soon to hopefully be Michon. Um, are you any leaning any more which way uh, regarding adoption? Well, you know, if, 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 if Cole wants to be adopted into the Michon family and you want to sponsor him and be responsible legally for all of his financial obligations and uh, j- judgments against the family for crimes that he may commit, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, I'm going to think about that. I'm not, he's not bringing much to the table money-wise, so I'm not, because he gets paid a lot less because he's shorter, so I'm not quite sure. Well, that's okay. I just, you know, I just, he's just got to be, uh, if he's coming in, you got to be responsible for him, Andrew. Okay. He's your podcast buddy. Yeah, that's okay. true. That's a big responsibility. So everything with you and Yvette going well? We're doing great. We just uh, both recently got our second COVID shot. Ooh, mazel tov. And, uh, we're feeling like uh, invulnerable. So uh, hopefully there's no Krypton coming along. Kryptonite. Coming <laughs> great. Along. I'll be over there soon to cough on you guys. Okay, that's great. Um, well... <laughs> You know, you you got you guys definitely got married right on time to where you're. I mean, I feel like you both would have been pretty miserable during this pandemic without each other. It would have been awful, and we just celebrated our one and a half year anniversary on Monday. One and a half! Congratulations! And, uh, also, and also, that anniversary is two years from the day we met. That's great! Awesome. Well, Dad, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to the podcast, but I will talk to you soon. Get I'll in. call you back later. Okay. So yeah, we're both getting paid. It's unclear who's getting paid what. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, the 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 point is. This college booked us to be here and chat with the students, and they're, they're kind of creating an event out of it. Yeah, we are like the headliner event for this, headliner thing for this event. There's um, there's there's food trucks behind uh, us, there's students all around. I mean, it's interesting because it's like, it's as if we were like a band, but we're, it's not interesting to watch us <laughs> unless yeah, you're actually sitting down. Yeah, you can't, it's not like you can hear us. Like, there's a line of people watching us right now. Um, but they can't hear us. But all that is to say, we want to do a lot more colleges. So this actually is epic and Uh it is Bay and it it is really cool. Yeah. And so you should, if you are a college student, talk to your 
talk to your student activities yeah. people and have them book us because this is epic, right? It's lit. Yeah, so that's it. And um, we're here to talk no to students. No cap. Well, no, you got a cap on. Oh, shit. Cap. Yes, cap. One cap, I guess. All right. Um, so, yeah, you want to talk to a guest? Okay. Should this is like a ride. This is like a ride. It's like I feel like I'm at Six Flags, except well, but well, talking. Or Knott's Berry Farm, because we did or that. Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> you could have used that as an example. Use that. Does anyone want to sit down? Yeah, if anyone wants to sit down. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I mean, if you guys are like quarantined, you guys roommates? No. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Hello. Whoa. Hey. Hello. What, are you, yeah. what are your guys' names? Um, I'm Abby. Hi, okay. Abby. <laughs> I'm Yedeline. Yedeline. Oh. How do you spell Yedeline? Y-A-R-E-L-I-N. You organize this event? A little bit, yeah. Me and Michaela. It was her idea to bring you guys. Well, thank Ooh. you. I did a lot of contracts and the more boring side, but yeah. No, that was our favorite part was the <laughs> contracts. Yeah. It was awesome, especially the, fun. the height stuff. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, yeah. Do you live on campus? Yes. We're both RAs, actually. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. So you're kind and of the cops. Both. Have you ever, have you had to bust anyone yet? Yeah, what do you bust? Like... Every day. Really? really? What do you bust? Like every week, maybe. What do you bust for? What are you busting for? Our guest policy is super, super strict. Of right course, now, of so. course. Oh, okay. Oh, and people are violating that. Every minute of every day. What really? type of what type of guests are they bringing over? Just like friends, I would say that's like the biggest one. Like fellow students, basically. Yes. Got it. Hmm. Have you ever like gotten in an argument with someone's family who's like a guest coming, hanging out? No, like most kids don't really want their family. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> is, there, do you, is there like gender separated dorms? Like, are you not allowed to have like a someone of the opposite sex over for like a certain well you're not allowed to have guests in your rooms but in the halls it's oh so people can like hook up in the halls and stuff yeah Yeah, in the hallway the hallway in the the outside outside we love outside everyone's welcome in the rooms unfortunately because of covid Mm. yeah we can't have anyone else so how do you bust people then what do you see okay they will tell you or they will like do it in front of your face they'll like Oh, really? oh hi, I meet my friend. They like came to visit, and it's like <laughs> that's your so friend funny. Clearly doesn't live here. They leave mm. the windows open. Oh, They'll have walk into the hallways. Oh, oh brother! Wait, yeah. is this your first year as an RA, or were you an RA in nor- in normal times as well? It was my first year. I've been an RA for this is my third year. Okay, so you've you've been like a normal RA under normal circumstances. Yes. How many were you busting people like for drinking and stuff? Yes, because we are a dry campus, so sure, yes, sure, I sure. Had okay. to do that. Yeah. Mm. Do you drink yourself? I mean, once I turn 21, yes. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yeah, good answer, yes, good answer. <laughs> good answer. Uh, what are you guys studying? I'm a psych major. I'm a sociology major with a minor in gender studies. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you what my uh, alcohol hack was when I lived in a dorm. <laughs> Just so you know. So, so, to you, make know. It, okay. so, so okay. you can so be can more on guard. So you okay. know to bust so people. You know how to, yeah. you, so you, you know, people, if they're drinking, they're usually drinking in their rooms and stuff um, and trying to be hush-hush about it. Mm-hmm. But I decided, I realized that the least suspicious people would be the people hanging out in the common area, mm. like oh, in, out okay. in the up, out in the open. So <laughs> I got my friends to just like you know we just like have water bottles or Gatorade bottles and stuff, but it would be mixed in the bottles, and we'd just be <laughs> hanging out out in the open drinking. No one would suspect mm. that we're doing that out in the open. Wow, that's um, actually like I've never heard of that. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty smart. So that was the, and it and it worked, and it uh, we had some fun times with the RAs in the room who had no <laughs> idea they I were hanging like hanging out with us and they didn't know that we were uh under the influence i had a yeah. great alcohol hack when i was a student oh yeah it's called following the rules aka <laughs> sobriety oh. <laughs> no i drank a lot and also it was okay <laughs> my college didn't really care okay what are you guys studying we already said it cole i know but like what i mean what do you want to like gender psychology do? yeah what okay? do you want to do i mean right what do you want to do um, well, right now I'm graduating in May, so whoa, I'm big looking. big news! My birthday's in May. And you guys should celebrate together, but not in the same room. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm looking at grad schools. I got it, I applied to two, and I got into two. Oh, and then that's pretty I good odds. I'm also gonna apply to jobs just to have my options open, and mm. I really have no clue what I'm gonna do. But I'm just looking at like the opportunities. What would you study at grad school? Um, higher education and student affairs. Mm. So basically, what. So you want to be like a super narc? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to work with like student life and academic oh, counseling. Okay, okay. But I mean, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm like, don't let's not put it like that. No, I like it. I like it. I'm just kidding. I one time got busted by an RA for drinking, who was also on my improv team, and so we had rehearsal the next day, and so she ha- she busted me and had to write me up, and then we had to like zip zap zop, zip zap zop. <laughs> 
in the morning when I was hungover and pissed. Yeah, it, it definitely can get awkward. Yeah, I've documented a few people here, so it happens. Oh, you, oh, oh. <laughs> interesting. So does that change your social dynamic with them later? Not like I don't feel awkward, but sometimes. It's like definitely. you're a spy. Yeah. 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 Mm. Wow. Okay. We love our jobs. We no, are very great. grateful to have them. Yeah. We love Res Life. So yeah. you get to live on campus for a cheaper rate, basically, right? Is that what it is? Or for free or for whatever? Free. For free. That's for free. Great. And you yeah. want to live on campus forever, like when you're an adult and stuff. I mean, <laughs> that's I why don't you're, know. That's why you're going to grad school. That's leave. the thing. <laughs> See, with this pandemic, it ain't helping us. Which like, pandemic? I feel this one? Oh, that one. That one. That one. There's another one. Jobs just aren't available that much. I feel like it's kind of hard. Sure. Grad school is a path that makes more sense. Yeah. Well, it was awesome to talk to you both, and thanks for bringing us here and making this happen. Yes, of course. Yeah. We're so happy you guys came. Oh, We've of course. So we're, we're thrilled. We hope that people are enjoying Cole, I was thinking, like, maybe every 10 minutes or something, we should kind of do something exciting for everyone who's watching, you know? Oh. Just, like, like stand up. I don't know. Just think about that. Zip just steps up? Yeah, just there's something that we should do. That's all. Because <laughs> okay, so I just feel like, like you know. Like a wave or something? Yeah, like a wave. Like, okay, oh, okay. Well, all right, we're going to do, do a wave, everyone. Just so, this so is for the people in line. For, for everyone else in line. So, all right, ready? So I'll start it. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. you guys are part oh, of it. Okay. That's great. Thank All you. Right. We just want to make sure it's exciting while you're in line yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. cool. We're going to give you each a dollar and a sticker. Oh! Um, we have to pay all our guests. That's what college kids want. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Money yeah. and stickers. Pretty One much. For you. And, and, just, and, and just part of this is if anyone's doing anything like around, can you bust them during our oh. show? Okay. So of just, yes. And if you do bust anyone during this, like bring them over. We'd love to gotcha. kind of figure it out. Time. Okay. Next right? Yeah. I'm going to have to check their water bottles because yeah. it's out yeah, in public. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It would be uh-huh. cool to watch strategy. someone get busted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks for talking to you guys. Yes, thank you. Bye bye. Be well. Man. See, it's not, I feel like I was like part of the mob and now I'm part of the informant. Giving, right. Giving them info on like what I used to do. I like that. Yeah. Oh, there's like a post ride kind of like kind of oh, talking. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. It's okay. Like a pep talk. So do you want to replace the old oh, stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do I do that? I'm going to replace this stuff to make it uh, even more dirty. Hey, everyone. It's just me. Um, can you get that bridge? I just want people to see it. So there's a beautiful bridge there. And I do, do not tell anyone this, but. I do plan on proposing to Cole after we shoot on the bridge. Um, He doesn't know about it. I barely know about it. But after we are done filming, I will be proposing to Cole on the bridge. It's very exciting. It's just I've never seen a bridge like that. Just so beautiful and in the middle of the campus. And I've never seen a Cole so beautiful and in the middle of campus. So I will be proposing to Cole. Hope he says yes. And if not, I'm still down to do the podcast. It'll just be awkward. What were you talking about? Nothing. Nothing really. Okay, time for some, those guests were great, and I also wonder if the next ones will be two. Finally. Sorry, sorry. Just got off my shift. Sorry. Cole now works at Shell gas station. Sorry. It's okay. Welcome back. How was it? It was fine. It's reek of gas. Okay. So we take a break to thank <coughs> our sponsors? Yes, let's. Because the more sponsors we have, the less shifts you have to do at Shell. We got a question for the audience. Are you unhappy with your smile? You don't have to be! Thousands of people have used Candid, the clear, comfortable, removable, and practically invisible aligners to help straighten their teeth, and now they love smiling! Just like Justin from Atlanta, Georgia. Justin said, When I was younger... I used to have a gap in my front tooth and on the side. I noticed that people would always look at my mouth first. That was me. So I was looking for a fix. Candid ended up being the perfect company for me. You can't stop me from smiling now. There's no comparison. And just want to let you guys know, his voice was jacked up before he used this. It's not Candid's fault that he sounds like that. Yeah, maybe Candid should make some vocal cord aligners. And Candid is here to help straighten your teeth so you can fall in love with your smile too. Your treatment is prescribed and closely monitored remotely by a licensed orthodontist who's an expert in tooth movement. You'll have the same quality of care you'd get from an in-office orthodontist from the comfort and convenience of your own Own home. home. And while other companies use general dentists, Candid only works with orthodontists. Orthodontists are as good as it gets when it comes to teeth straightening. With Candid, the same orthodontist who created your plan is with you from the start to finish. That's nice of them. The average Candid treatment is just six months. You'll start seeing results way before then, and it costs 
thousands less than traditional braces. If you have used Candid to straighten your teeth, please, please talk, talk about, about your, your experience. experience. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nothing for me, will you? Uh, not yet. I had, uh, but I did go through braces twice as a kid. So. Oh really? Yeah. It was and how it was? Didn't like it. Would if you I didn't have straight teeth, I would want them, and I would use Candid. Right. Would you prefer to have like invisible liners like this? Yeah. And was that just your parents not loving you, or what was that about? Um, it was them loving to watch my gums bleed. My teeth were in a prison. Right. If you've been wanting to straighten your teeth, this really is a great company. They're FDA approved, clear liners. They work really well. They've got tons of first-hand testimonials, so get, check them out. Yes. Yeah, quit being ashamed of that of those of those precious pearls in your in your face. <laughs> Become your best you. Start straightening your teeth today. Right now, you can save seventy-five dollars on Candid Starter Kit. Go to candidco.com slash outside and use code outside that's candidco.com slash outside code outside that's the letters co take advantage of this limited time offer to save 75 dollars on your starter kit candidco.com slash outside code outside ah do you hear that? Yes, I always hear everything you do. It's annoying. My neck go pop and bad and my body ache. Yeah, well, maybe you need to take some feels. Huh? Feels is a premium CBD company. CBD isn't about what you feel. It's about what you don't feel. Stress, anxiety, and pain. I personally take feels every night before I go to sleep. It makes me feel really good. It makes me fall asleep quite fast. And I feel like my general overall body aches are going down, down, down the drain. Ow. Ow. I better take some feels after you just punched me in the arm for no reason because you're actually a traitor and not my good friend. You thought I was your good friend? Feels is a better way to feel better. Feels is a premium CBD that will help keep your head clear and feel your best. It's hassle-free, delivered directly to your door. There's no hangover or addiction. Just place a few drops of feels under your tongue and feel the difference within minutes. One thing to remember about CBD is that finding your right dose is important and everyone's dose is different. And that's why luckily Feels offers a CBD hotline oh. to guide your personal experience so that you find your perfect dose. Cole calls the CBD hotline, what, about three times a day? Uh, no, only morning and night. Okay. And sometimes if I have a really nasty lunch. Lunch? Yeah. And what do you say to them? So I call them, I say, hey, feels peoples, I'm feeling nasty, and I got to get my fix of feeling nice. <laughs> and they say, well, you know, t you got to take it. You remember to take your feels, Cole? And I say, oh, that's right. That's why I'm calling in the first place, actually. Feels has been a longtime sponsor. I take the product every day. If you're interested in CBD, check them out. Joining the Feels monthly membership makes your self-care easy. You'll save money on every order, and you can pause or cancel at, at any time. time. Start feeling better with feels. Become a member today by going to F-E-A-L-S dot com slash outside. And you'll get 50% off your order with free shipping. That's 50? almost 55% off. Whoa. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash outside to become a member and get 50% 50 automatically off. taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels dot com slash outside. Should we get back to the you know uni? Should we, back, should we get back to uni, mate? Yeah, I think so, bro. Okay, you guys want to sit down? Awesome. Hello. Hey. Welcome to hey. podcast. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, What's your names? I'm Jake. And, I, and I'm Noah. 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 You guys roommates? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, so you just met randomly through the school, huh? Mm -hmm. And you become good friends? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say yeah. pretty good friends. You yeah. guys freshmen? I'm a senior. And oh. I'm a junior. Sorry to, I just, you know, it's hard to tell and we're yeah. just That's asking fine. everyone. You don't look, yeah. you don't look particularly like freshmen. I just, I'm just asking. So you guys are almost done, huh? Eh, it's a bit stressful. I'm just hoping to graduate in person. Yeah. 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 So you've experienced both kinds of school, normal school, and then whatever this is. Yep. Which one's better? Mm, sometimes it depends on the class, but I prefer to be in person. Yeah, I'm mm, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer the other way, actually. You uh, prefer yeah. online? Yeah, because. Well, really? Yeah, a little bit. I know it's it's kind of weird, but I'm able to to focus better for some reason. Because mm. if I like get distracted a little bit, I'm already in like my own room, so I can be like, oh, I can pretend to pay attention. What are you guys studying? I'm a multimedia student uh, studying visual effects, motion graphics, and animation, but I want to be a UI designer. What is you, uh, user, user interface? interface? Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. So like for apps and stuff? Yeah. What's your favorite app? Favorite app in terms of design or in general? Uh, let's Either. hear both. Let's hear both. First hmm. design, then general. I'd say Twitter's got a pretty good streamlined interface. Okay. okay. It's pretty easy to figure out and navigate. Mm -hmm. Sure. And 
an app that... Uh, yeah, you like the most. But I'm not sure on that one, to be honest. It's a good question. I just am not sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So many okay. options. Yeah. Okay. I like text. Yeah, mm -hmm. the that's message, pro messaging app. That's probably my favorite, my favorite. messages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, what about you? I'm a biochemistry right. major. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. what's your favorite um, thing in biology? It's sex-linked uh, traits. So, like, mm. something that I remember, I had this class, like, two years ago, but I still mm -hmm. remember it mm. vividly, is how calico cats can only be female. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Because, really? I did hear about that. Yeah, because the color of cats is usually linked to the X chromosome. So a male cat would have an X and a Y chromosome, so they'd only have one color. But with calico cats, since they have, like, two X chromosomes, different parts of their fur could be different colors depending on which... Are you saying my bro's been lying to me? <laughs> Maybe. My calico cat who told me he was a he? Oh. Yeah. No, what does calico mean? It means different... I think it just means that there's there's three different colors. So usually, oh, three. Yeah, Got so it. a calico cat's usually like white, black, and orange. Okay. I just didn't know what calico meant. Okay. That's all. Yeah, that's I'm, just, okay. I'm a dummy. Well, this has been your PBO fact of the day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, so what do you want to do with that well right now i want to be a forensic pathologist mm -hmm. which mm. is like the way i described it is usually it's like a coroner but it's more in depth so mm. like a coroner's like yeah that person's dead mm -hmm. well a forensic pathologist is like okay well here's how the person died and, and then a priest is like let's bring that person back to life yeah, yeah exactly yeah. that's that's yeah. what i am <laughs> that's what i do oh yeah i do that yeah. one. Oh, okay yeah um, so have you ever, have you had any experiences with dead bodies before? Uh, just dead animals. Dead I haven't animals. had any dead people yet. Okay. Where did you find these dead animals? Well, one of them was, uh, my, my dog had died. Uh -huh. It was a while back. I had just opened the door to the backyard and the dog was just dead. Oh man. And oh. I was like, oh, I'm and sorry. there was like blood on both ends. How? Blood on both, both ends? ends? Both ends. What out do you of the mean? mouth and out of the anus. There, there was, was just blood? How? And it was dried blood too. I don't know. I just, like, she was kind of sick, and my, my mom, she has the presumption that our neighbor tried to poison kill her dog. It? Yeah, poison, poison and kill it? her dog. That is disturbing. What the heck? Wait, yeah. so how old was she? I think she was, like, three at most. What? She's yeah. so young. Oh, yeah. no. Dude. So she was just dead on the ground? She was just dead right there. And Yikes. So, wow. And what? Did you cut her open? What did you, you do? <laughs> is that what you're getting at? You were like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> kind of. Oh my I think God. that was the start of it, yeah. <laughs> Okay. You know, there was a notorious story on this podcast where my cat's eye fell out, and I thought that was gross. Or my dog. dog, sorry, my dog's eye kind of fell out, and I pushed it back in. But I think blood at both ends has surpassed that in terms of horrific <laughs> animal stories. Yeah. Did it, like, traumatize you? You think it would have, but it actually didn't. No, no, it inspired you. Yeah, inspired it inspired you. me, yeah. Okay. So I, do you think you're going to get squeamish around dead bodies? I don't know. So I, wait. I hope not. Okay, wait. So you do th was that the moment that you were like, oh, I'm so curious as to how this dog died. I want to, like make a career out of figuring out how things died? I think it was the start of it. Like, that was when I was like, oh, okay, I've, I've seen dead things before. And then mm -hmm. I, like, watched, like, criminal shows like Criminal Minds and stuff, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, they're getting into, like, who the killer is, but, like, I want to know more about, like, how this person died. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And at what stage in your education learning that? And we'll, we'll get to you. Sorry, we just, this is interesting. No, it's fine. Um, have you ever seen a dead body? No, I don't okay, think so. Okay, right. At what stage in your education along this field are they like, okay, you're ready to see a dead body? Like, what if you've been studying this for six years and yeah, then you yeah. see one and you're like, I can't do this and you have to like completely change paths. <laughs> so I'm just saying as his roommate, you should consider e like finding him a dead body to look at just to test him. <laughs> eh, I'll give him my best shot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> cool. I, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Cool. Huh. Any uh, parting words or words of wisdom? Study well in school and like actually learn to study because... I still have trouble learning to study sometimes. Work hard for your future and do the best that you can. If we ever need an app, we will hit you up. Thanks. I actually need a job when I graduate. Okay, I, say that, put that out there. Do you have like a, a resume or like a site that you have? You, do you have examples of stuff you've designed? I'm Real Snapshot on Twitter. That's R E A L S N A P S H O T on and, Twitter. And you've developed apps and stuff? I've been building wireframes in a program called Figma. And I haven't been learning to code because I've heard you don't need to do that for this. Okay. But I've gotten, I'm getting better. I've made a few things okay. and practiced as best I can. If you need someone to make a few things for you, talk to our boy. Talk to our boy. Thank you so much. Yeah, all right. Cool. Money. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you get paid. <laughs> I saw. It was on the sign I forgot. There's a dollar two and a sticker. stickers and two dollars. Mm. There you go. Thanks for sitting down, you guys. Be well. Thank you. Have you ever seen a dead body? Um... Yes, at funerals. You've seen a dead body? I have. Where? Uh, it was my great grandma. She died in the hospital. She was like, I think like 99 or 100 or something. And my aunt made me touch her. Made you? 
Yeah, she was like, go ahead, hold her hand. I was like, weird. Huh. And so I held a, a dead woman's hand. Do you like it? No. Nah. Have you been chasing that high ever since? Yeah. I'm just trying to hold corpses' hands. I get it. I, I dig people up. To we got a new guest. Blandrew? Yes. Should we take a break or thank our sponsor? Yes. I have a question for you, audience. Have you always wondered what it felt and sounded like in the ears of the person who is recording this show? Yeah? Then you might want to buy some Raycon wireless earbuds because that'll give you the full experience that's going on in the head and mind of the camera person because we use Raycons to record this show. You never know, maybe Raycon steals his thoughts and transfers them to you. Whether you're catching up on your favorite podcast, binging an audiobook, or powering through your workout with a pumped up playlist, a pair of Raycons in your ears can make all the difference and can make you feel a little bit like our friend Andrew who records the show. No dangling wires or stems to get in your way here. Raycons come in a range of stylish colorways. I usually just say colors, but colorways. But always with a comfortable in-ear fit for a more discreet look. Raycons are built to perform anywhere and anytime with water and sweat resistant construction and Bluetooth that pairs quickly and seamlessly. And yeah, our, that, our camera guy is always sweating. He's sweating buckets. Yeah, he's his, drenching these things. He's got what we call flooded ears, which is where his ears get so full of sweat that they actually become like a river in the ocean. A river in the <laughs> ocean. <laughs> yep. These have basically been to the bottom of the sea in terms of wetness, and they are working good still. Oh, they said something to me. Ooh. They said, I hated it. I hated it in his ears. Get me out of there. But, they, but you know what? They power through. <laughs> even they though they through. Even though they hate it and it is brutal for them, they're such good quality that they stay, stay working. And with enough battery life for six hours of playtime, you can unplug for a while. The best part is that Raycon makes great sound accessible to everyone with wireless earbuds starting at half the price of other premium audio brands and everyone is allowed to buy them other, unlike other audio brands which only say if your name is Mark can you buy them. Raycon's offering 15% off, off all their products for our listeners and here's what you've got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash outside. That's it. You'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order so feel free to grab a pair and, and a spare. A spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash outside. Buyraycon.com slash outside. Great audio products. Give them a listen and be a hero. Let's go back to California Lutheran University. We got a new guest. Hey. He's been patiently waiting. This is great. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's gnarly. I can yeah. hear you guys. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is gnarly. What's, What's your name? My name is Aaron. 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 Okay. Double A, huh? It is. Oh, right. That's cool. You're kind of like one of the first names out there, right? Yeah, it's it's always been a, a gnarly thing, especially you gnarly, know, huh? throwback to uh, kindergarten. Mm. I was the one, the one first one in line. It was except unless when they go in reverse order, then yeah, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, then it's hella sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What right. part of California are you from? I'm from Anaheim. Okay, I just heard gnarly and hella, so I just knew you were from the <laughs> state. <laughs> I wanted to know which part. <laughs> okay. You got me. That's fair. <laughs> okay. You excited for Disney to open up on May first? Uh, yes, very much so. My dad works there, so. Oh really? Oh, what yeah. did you do? Um. Or April is, 30th. Is he Mickey Mouse? He is. No. Oh. Um, it opens April 30th, right? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, my dad my dad used to work for the FBI, so what? when he transferred to Disneyland... That's an interesting switch. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I need a safer thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's too dangerous. Um, uh, when he transferred, he's basically like Disney's private investigator. Whoa. Whoa. Um, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, basically, what he does is he kind of goes around and makes sure that like there's no like like large-scale frauds, that kind of thing. There's a lot of auditing. Has he caught stuff. anything big like that? Um, he's caught like several stuff. You know, like sent what? A couple people to jail. Like, what type of stuff? Whoa. Um, like ticket fraud? No, it's more like employees that will steal like millions of dollars, Ooh. like under the table. Because it's like it's really easy since it's a multi-billion-dollar corporation or trillion-dollar corporation. It's really easy. Like someone's like, oh, a million dollars is going to go missing. No one's going to notice. And does he work at the park or Disney corporate? He works at corporate. Okay. Does he have anything to do with the park, or is it more like corporate stuff? Um, occasionally they'll send him into the park to like. To like, do some rides. Yeah. With, like, with like a big magnifying glass and he's walking around with a pipe. Yeah, he's got like the Sherlock Holmes yeah, hat yeah. and But it's got the Mickey symbol on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay, so he works in corporate. Mm -hmm. So he's just, okay, so what, people like embezzling money and stuff like yeah. that? Okay. Interesting. Wow. And what was he doing for the FBI? Um, same thing, pretty much. But well, now it's fun. Yeah, but now it's now fun. There's, so now he's, he gets Disney tickets. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he's kind of like a narc. 
Yeah. <laughs> he's like a he's like the super narc of Disney. Yeah, yeah. I mean I am too. I'm an RA. You're an RA? <laughs> Whoa. Dude. Following in Daddy's narc steps. I this like is it. Awesome. Daddy's narc steps. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a big struggle, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we had some narcs earlier, so yeah. we're familiar. That's cool. Is he is he happy that is he proud of you for being an RA? No, he called me a narc. <laughs> <laughs> when he was in his college days, he was like, Wow, you're really one of those people? Whoa. <laughs> All right, so you're a Disney freak, uh-huh. family. You're born in the family of Disney freaks. Uh-huh. Does you, did you like growing up? Did you all just go to Disneyland like your whole family and stuff? Yeah, it's kind of weird, like, cause like the first time I went to Disney, I was probably like five years old, yeah. mm-hmm. maybe younger, like four years old, and um, like I've like grown up as like the dis that does like the parks change. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, and like there's so many things where I was like, yeah, like I liked it better last time or this mm. kind of thing. Mm. Um, and your father has worked there that whole time. Yeah, he's been there for 20 years. Wow, it's like your whole life. Yeah. What's wow. your What's your favorite and least favorite change that Disney parks have made? The Pirates. The original Pirates mm-hmm. was like kind of meh. Yeah. But like when they added Jack Sparrow, I was like, yeah, this, mm. this is baller. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You like that uh, Pirates water smell? Yes. Mm. Yeah. And my least favorite um, was when they got rid of Innovations. What is the Innovations? Um, that's when, that you know that big circular building where they have like the Iron Man stuff now? Mm. They used to have like a whole bunch of like crazy new tech. Mm. Um, oh, I remember that. I yeah. remember that. Okay. That's next to Space Mountain, right? Yeah, it's right next to Space Mountain. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope your dad continues to catch embezzlers. Are his fellow employees like cautious of him or only if they're kind of bad eggs? Uh, not gonna lie, yeah, everybody's kind of sus of him. No. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah, he has a reputation at Disney of like, ooh, Matt's out here. Really? <laughs> that's and does he like that? Kind of. Okay. Um, he's a shark. That's yeah. cool. Well, like sometimes, like he'll be like walking through. The, um, there's like, uh, like he has like a group chat with his coworkers. So at this point, it's I'd more. I'd love of a to meme. get on that group chat. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if you, you can, can get, if us, you in get us in there. <laughs> yeah. I would love to get on that Disney group chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But continue. So there's um, a group chat. Yeah. And they'll like kind of like whenever they see him in the park, they'll, they'll like text in it like, oh my God, Matt's around. Everybody hide. Was he always like catching you doing bad stuff as a kid? Did he, was he? Yeah. It's really hard to lie to my dad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, and he always told me, he was like, yeah, you can try, but like, it's never going to work. I also <laughs> suck at lying. So that might be it. Yeah. Yeah, well, if you didn't, I mean, it was kind of probably hard to practice because you just got shot down immediately. Yeah. You need to like, you need to build your confidence <laughs> yeah. a little bit, like tell one lie that works, but yeah. every single one was just, no. Yeah. That's tough. Well, cool. Any, well, uh, actually, why don't you lie to us right now just to kind of give a little bit yeah, of practice. So get some okay. practice in. Okay. Um, um, what's the question going to be? Now, how about this? How about this? Um, what color shoes you got on? Well, they're like a deep maroon, kind of reddish. That's pretty good. Uh, I believe it. I believe it. And you got poopy butthole on your socks? (laughs) Yeah, I do have poopy butthole. What is that? (laughs) From Rick and Morty? I never heard of that. Mr. Poopy Butthole, sorry. Oh. All right. I have heard of that. I actually do have a I do have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what inspired your your podcast? Uh, me knowing that there would be a pandemic. Yes. Before there was. A couple, like a year before, he was like, something's yeah. brewing. I can yeah, smell it. Yeah, yeah. He said he could smell it. Yeah, he could smell it. So he just thought it was brewing, and he thought we got to do this. Yeah. So that we did sense. it. That makes sense. Yeah. And we used to we used to wear masks and do all this in the show <laughs> <laughs> for like a year before the pandemic. Yeah. People, people, thought, people thought we were crazy. <laughs> yeah. We no one sat down. No, it was a very bizarre. There's a dollar and a sticker. You're you an awesome guest. Thank you for Thank sitting you so down. Much. Thank yeah. you. You can watch this in a few weeks when it comes out. Cool. Yeah. Send it to your family. Man, I gotta say, that is like such classic college life over there. Look at that. That could be a brochure for this school. That is beautiful. And if you look a little bit that way, you see the bridge where I'm gonna propose to call after the show. So I just get down on one knee. I mean, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. But I got the ring and I am ready, so I just gotta do it. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up, normal friend? Some guy, co- colleague, <laughs> my normal colleague, bro. <laughs> Look at his butt like that. It looks so good. <laughs> it looks awesome. <laughs> I could spend the rest of my life with that butt. Take a peek, though. It looks so good. Yeah, get a little closer. Oh, just the way it fills in the top of those jeans. <laughs> awesome the vegan burrito Thank you thanks so a lot Appreciate Thank you <laughs> just placed our order oh, you can toss that in there okay we just placed our oh man I love Aaron huh yeah Aaron's a great guy he makes me want to be you didn't want to be before that no I found a purpose I think coming well, here 
Really? Yeah. And what's that? To be... Nice, man. Okay, well, um, it's starting to smell like smoke, so we gotta bring our next guest on. <laughs> yeah, that's the cue. That's our cue. That's our cue. Hey! You guys wanna sit down? Okay. Yeah. It's getting cold. Together, so it's getting chilly. Oh, great. Yeah, 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 of course. Take your pictures. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm good. You're Michaela, because we talked to you earlier. Yeah, yeah Michaela booked and, us. And, yeah. and you are? Suvi. Suvi. Are yes. you guys your age? No. no. Okay. <laughs> I was just curious. Yeah. No, we're just friends. How do you spell Suvi? Um, S-U-V-E-E. -E. Two E's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We only ask because it will be written on the screen. Yeah. yeah. We, we don't want it to be wrong, that's all. No yeah. worries, I appreciate it. Yeah, we're yeah. also going to write you some letters. We yes. Okay, great. Yes. Sounds good. And tickets, parking tickets. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Do you have yeah. a car? I do, unfortunately. Yes. Okay, you will be getting some tickets. Um, anyways, oh, your mask says dead pets honor. You like dead it, pets. We were just a, talking about that. It says dead poets, but oh, okay. yeah. Mm, yeah. It's unclear. But if we want to talk about like dead pets. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah? I mean, we haven't, no. we, we, we did, we did earlier. Talk about we did earlier. Right. Oh your yeah, fish? what's up with your fish? Yeah, oh, it came with my snap too. memories yesterday. Oh, that's and it was a sad. snap memory of me talking about my fish Sherman. Did Sherman not video, make it? I'm like, he's fine. And he died like four days later. Did he oh, die no. from the, during the pandemic? Um, he died literally the morning I was moving out of my dorm last year. Oh. So because of COVID? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's wow. really sad. It's um, wait, so, so are you guys RAs? No. No. Mm -hmm. Nice. Would never. Nice. Never. Mm -hmm. What's up with the RAs though, huh? Mm. We've talked to three of them. No, we're both peer advisors, so we can't be RAs. Oh, I'm what's not, that mean? I'm not a peer advisor. You're not a peer advisor? No, I'm not. <laughs> You're a peer <laughs> advisor in our you. hearts. We're okay. Last okay. I wanted to be a peer advisor, but yeah. I'm not. Oh, we we did an episode on a peer. Yes. Actually, that's true. Uh, uh, P oh, P I E R. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Wait. What is a peer advisor? A peer advisor is someone who helps with like new student orientation. Okay. And then they like mentor freshmen their first semester. Uh. I totally thought you were one. No. Okay. Oh, so you're you. like oh, kind okay. of corrupting the youth and stuff. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah. Like, what do you yeah. teach them? Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> that's a timer for me to do my assignment. No. Okay. <laughs> Don't Homework. do it. Yeah. Yeah. What's your um like? What do you talk? To, like, you just get them associated with California Lutheran University. Not really. Oh, yeah. you just kind of like show them like how to sneak stuff up into your room and stuff? No. You <laughs> no. can. I don't want my freshmen in my dorm. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, yeah. no thank you. So wait, mm. why do you do it then? I really like like screaming at people at six in the morning. <laughs> wait, what do you mean? Like for orientation. Oh, like a bunch of them. Yeah, like oh, okay. people will be lined up to move in. It's so fun. Like You are a morning person. I can tell. Mm. I am also a night owl though. It's really annoying. You know what I am actually, which a lot of people aren't? I'm actually a morning owl. Mm. Like a lot of people oh. are night owls. I'm actually a yeah. morning owl. It is different. Okay. Yeah. Explain. Can you explain it? Yeah. He wakes up and kills rodents. Yes. And yes. Oh. And I hoot and hoot and hoot. Yeah, and hoot and hoot. Yeah. That Wait. is my mornings. Speaking of rodents, this is a question that like I ask a lot of people. Okay. Like, who would win in a fight, Stuart Little or Remy the Rat? I mean, I, I feel like, like Remy is more well traveled, right? Because mm -hmm. he went to France. Mm -hmm. And he lived on the streets. Or he was from France, I guess, which is well traveled <laughs> if you're from there. Yeah. Um, I think I think Remy. I think Stuart Little just he doesn't have the power and he just is too privileged to actually like beat up Remy. Right, he hasn't been through enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Like we get it, you're an orphan. Right, but right. No you were adopted by a human family. I actually was the opposite. I was adopted by rats. Oh. Yes, yeah. I was wow. a human orphan, mm -hmm. and oh, no. rats raised me. Yeah, they called him Andrew Big. Yes, they called me Andrew <laughs> wow. Big, like Stuart Little. It sounds like some trauma. <laughs> it yeah. was cool until I did stomp on them on accident. And you killed them? When I got a bad grade, yeah. Mm, just a bad yeah. day. Yes, but mm -hmm. it was just it was not so good. Yeah. Um, so what do you guys want to do with life? What are your majors? I'm an exercise science major. What's Whoa. that about? Um, I want to become a physical therapist. Oh. So, so, oh, so like yeah. hands-on helping people. Yeah. As opposed, to, as opposed to like a metaphorical <laughs> therapist. <laughs> Right. I mean, I could probably do that too. Oh, okay. I sometimes tell people like if I have a midlife crisis, I'll just become a regular therapist. Uh -huh. What so. do you like to do for exercise? Uh, mm. So you don't like it as much, <laughs> but you study it. Yeah, but you're, literally. Aren't you learning how important it is? No, I am. What's and going I should on? make time for it, but I don't. Oh. Not right now, at least. Interesting. But I do stretch. Okay. Like if, if my shoulder or like anything ever hurts, I know all the exercises I need to do. So mm. like I do all the rehabilitation stuff. But, but I so don't do no preventative stuff. That's so funny that you're studying it and yet you don't, because you're literally. studying about how important it is, right? No, literally. <laughs> R.A.P. me. You don't, you, you think it's a joke? No, like I just didn't know that was a thing. What? She's your Physical best freaking friend. <laughs> we just met in person today. That's what I mean. Yeah. You guys yeah. are best literally. friends. We're yeah. besties. Yeah. yeah, best friends. I just follow her on Instagram like right before What's this. What's your major? I'm a journalism major. Love that. And I'm a film minor and I say that to make me sound more interesting. Mm. <laughs> what do you want to do? 
entertainment journalism. Okay. So, so like, so e. write, so write about like entertainment stuff. Like, yeah, like red like carpets, r- that kind of thing. Like write about us for E or something. If you want me to, we would yeah. love that. Yeah. Please yeah. pitch yeah. us. Of course. Yeah. Wait, h- why do you think to email us to have us come here? Um. I mean, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love it. So, um, I've been watching you guys. I've been a fan of Cole since like middle school. Sure. Aww. And then um, since he was in middle school, yeah. So you were like a, <laughs> yeah. a really young kid, and you yeah. were like watching him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, like from watching afar, me get picked on <laughs> in, yes. in gym class. Yeah. 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 And you were afar. like, I love this guy's attitude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I've been following him not on Instagram or like that kind of stuff. But I've like been physically, physically following okay. him. Okay. Uh, ever since. And then I obviously saw the clips from TikTok, and then like I used to pull like hello all nighters during winter break, mm. and like I couldn't do anything for those seven hours that I was awake so I just literally watched you guys oh, in as, the as like a last resort type <laughs> <thing>. yeah <laughs> like I had nothing else to do so like I watched but wait, wait. An hour isn't the fast. point of pulling all-nighters to study N- I, it was during winter break what was I gonna study oh, oh all-nighters oh. wait why are you pulling all-nighters on break I don't what do you mean pulling an all-nighter is. you just mean not going to sleep I just I just never like I would go to sleep at 2 p.m wake up at 10 p.m and then I had nothing to do nothing was I don't open. think it counts as pulling an all-nighter when you're just like <laughs> watching tv yeah I th- pulling implies that you don't want <laughs> yeah to that you like it. have to well, do it I didn't enjoy it but like <laughs> I wanted to fix my sleep schedule but I I was like, I'm not going to stay up like for 24 hours yeah. to do that. Well, thanks for watching our show during that time. Yeah. yeah. And then and then I saw that you guys came to Ventura and I was like, oh my God, I live so close to Ventura. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, you think I could like use my powers to bring them here? You inspired us to, to ask other colleges to have them. I saw, yeah, the, yeah. I saw the Instagram post. I was like showing everyone. I was like, it's me. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it is. Because we've like, thought about it for a while. But, you know, during COVID, it was just like... You know, we completely changed our whole thing, mm-hmm. and then now we're back out of the streets, but we're still kind of cautious, and so we're mm-hmm. kind of like, oh, maybe we'll pursue that later. But when you reached out, we're like, yeah, why couldn't we do this in a safe way, you know, yeah. for college students? No, yeah, and like it seems to be doing like really good. Like, yeah, people are. I'm yeah. really happy, and like I wanted to do something different for the school, so yeah, it's it was cool. Just, like, and people will be able to watch it, and maybe even prospective students will watch it. Like, mm-hmm. like, what do you say to someone who's watching this, who's thinking about applying here? Let's hear it. Sell them, sell them on. You're the CLU. peer advisor. Yeah, you're yeah. the peer advisor. Um, come tell on a tour advisor here. Peers. Yeah. And definitely talk to people when you're on your tour and get to know the campus. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I would recommend taking a tour of a college by yourself because your parents aren't going to be with you at the campus that you're going to be visiting. So come on your own. Well, I will say my parents did live in my dorm my freshman year. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. So I just have to say the rats. Uh, no, my real my oh. my human parents uh, took they, they, they came back, back around. They, they came back mm-hmm. around yeah. after the tragedy, oh. and um, my freshman year of college they did live with me. That'd be actually a funny idea for a movie, like a super protective parents who live yeah. with their kids. I mean, well, that, kid. that's like season oh five of, of Arrested Development, pretty much. Oh, is that true? Yeah. I didn't see that season. Mm, no one did. Any uh, final words? Okay, so because I'm a journalist, I had like questions for you guys. Oh, please. Let's do it, actually, because no one ever asks us anything. Cause no, yeah. and I'm very curious to hear your thoughts thought okay so okay. the first one is for andrew yes i love spinach spinach is so adorable oh my puppy your dog yeah. Thank oh you. gosh she's, she's so, so cute, cute. Yeah. but i'm very curious as to the name choosing process and why not any other leafy green or vegetable because i think that spinach fits her very well but did you go through any other leafy greens i didn't for me a very important um thing for an, a dog name or an animal name is for there to be it to be kind of shorter and and for there to be nicknames Mm -hmm. so like kale i guess is is fine charred maybe but spinach i call her spin i call her spinster spinderella sphincter sphincter spinterest spin wait pinterest uh osama Mm -hmm. bin laden (laughs) um the spinch who stole christmas there's a lot of nicknames actually most 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 of what i call her now is spinch s-p-i-n-a-c-h spinch is like her main name now (laughs) like she is spinach and she is spin but i call her spinch a lot and then yeah i think i like dog names that are a little unique that no one else no yeah has heard before no yeah i love the name thanks um cole is there you have a question for cole yeah i do okay uh cole huge fan of titty pussy and fuck ass thank you Um, a little bit gross but shirts available at bonfire.com slash store slash titty pussy a little gross. Just, I was gonna buy one right now, but Ooh. um, so you know, we have Titty Pussy, we have Focus, and I believe there's like Jeff the Ref now. Who's oh, there was Jeff, the, Jeff ref. the Ref. I pitched a mascot to the NBA recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I yeah. saw that. Very exciting. Um, and I was just wondering if Titty Pussy and Focus and perhaps Jeff the Ref are related to each other in any way. Are they cousins? Are they lovers? Mm-hmm. Are they exes to um, friends with benefits to strangers to lovers? Mm-hmm. Um, 
And could there be a possible MCU thing going on with mm. it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. As far as they know, they are not related. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's all I'll say about it. Right. Okay. There may be a little, uh, some prequel information coming soon. Mm. That's so exciting. As to their or- origin. But mm. I, I can't speak on that right now. No, yeah, of course. Which lawyers and stuff. And yeah. Yeah. I get it. Hmm. Am I allowed to ask intern question? Sure. This is not intern, um, oh. but this is um, intern's replacement currently. Oh. His name oh. is Andrew. Yeah, yeah. I want to applaud you for holding the camera very still all the time. I'm like genuinely surprised of how good the camera movement is. Um, oh, what do you do to like stop getting things like carpal tunnel and stuff? Like, do you do any wrist exercises? Uh, when I can, but I can't really feel my when hands can, right now. <laughs> what do you say? You can't feel his hands. Oh, they're, okay. they're numb. Unfortunate. I mean, yeah. we do have a little, like, selfie stick thing, you know? So he does it able to hold that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, th- this is... Very good. I, c- I could be doing the selfie stick thing, but this is, uh, easier to, like... Oh, yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. Hand around. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? No, that's all I have. Wow. Okay. Thank you for preparing and thank, thank you. you guys for being guests. Yes. Thank you. You're both wonderful. And, you yeah. know, it is so amazing to see best friends blossom. Mm-hmm. And you guys just met each other and you have a lifetime of memories to mm-hmm. create. What what is what do people need to know about this school? Like to really kind of like what's the secret? What's the secret? Like what's up with this school? Like how would you comp- I mean, it's a good school. It's a good school. Like, it's like check it out. Okay. It's like a small campus, so if you're looking to like get like personal things, like personal like time with professors who like actually know you and like having that kind of small community is fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the people here are really awesome. Mm-hmm. Right. They're special. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. It was great to talk to you both. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for bringing us, Michaela. It was awesome, and it's nice to meet you. I'm and so excited for this sticker. I'm yeah. So this is why I came. Do you want a second here. sticker, Michaela? Um, <gasps> yes. Thank you. You can both have a second sticker. Oh, my God. Actually, we may not have enough. We're going to give Michaela a second one just because she brought us. Oh, so nice. Oh, you know what? Oh, we should have brought, like, a pin or something for oh, her. Yeah. We just didn't think about it, but oh. we should have brought you, like, a pin or something. We can mail you one. Just I can give you my campus inbox. Oh, no. Here's a pin. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, you oh, made There it. you go. Thank you for oh, bringing us. Thank so you much. Go. What color is it? Is it purple or it's silver? silver? It's silver. It's silver. It's the good ones. Oh, my God. That's hey, so cute. That. <laughs> Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you guys. Be well. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> purple ones are good, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, they're waters. the best-seller ones. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you're That's good, you're good, you're good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, you want to go change it off? So this is our first college book gig. I think we nailed it. I mean, there are hundreds of kids, thousands of kids around us. Yeah, there's... Wow. Having a true college experience. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they would be able to be so in college without us. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I mean, we still have yet to get our honorary degree. Yes. Yes, I would love to... We should talk to the woman who's kind of in charge. As soon as she's, she's going to bring us our food, and maybe when she brings us our food, we will ask her about the honorary degree. Okay. Hey, great. Oh. Actually, can we ask you a quick question? Yeah. Okay, so so our food is here, and, and this is our food, and this is the, the people helping to put on the event. Thank you. You can mm-hmm. just drop it off on the table. Yeah, That's thank fine. you. Right here. Thanks so much. Uh, so we were wondering, like, sometimes when, like, you have celebrities, they have, they get honorary degrees. Um, from the school. From the school. Yeah. Would, would it be possible for us to get an honorary degree? You know, I, I'm probably not the person that hands those out. Okay. Right, right. right. The university president, but, like. Sure, sure. I can right, maybe maybe just kick you know just like kick it up the kick it up the chain of command oh, really? because we both have our we both already have degrees mm-hmm. but not from here yeah you know we'd love a we'd love a degree degree from California from Luth- 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 University you got one. okay okay so you as a, as a representative of the school we we both graduated from here okay okay so Perfect. just okay just letting every thank you so much for thank all you that, yeah. yeah thank you we're Appreciate just letting everyone know that an official an official person who is employed by the school mm-hmm just said that we did technically graduate from this school Mm -hmm. and we have honorary degrees so just for all the haters out there haha haha and good night and good night we're now college grads hey cole uh, would you meet me on that could you come with me to that bridge for a second i guess so yeah why just uh just no reason just it would be cool if you and i kind of went to that bridge for just a a second together okay can i bring my boba um that would kind of ruin the moment i think leave the no food no snacking or drinking and leave no need just 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 me and you okay okay we'll just head to the bridge
<laughs> oh my gosh. To be a married man right now, to marry to Cole, is so good. He said, well, he didn't really say much, but he did give me his boba. Well, there wasn't anything in your hand. I thought you were offering me to give... I told you, you to you leave the boba behind, and you brought it to the thing anyway, showing that you don't nice. Oh, you're leaving? Yep. All right. Well, thank you for the episode. Thank you, CLU, for bringing us and we spanking us. We want to do more us. colleges. Book us for your college. Um, okay. That's all. And... Cash me in college. How about that? How about that, indeed? Okay, well, I guess we'll see you next week. See ya. Podcast but outside. Podcast but outside. Podcast but outside. And I didn't tell you about it because I didn't want you to feel bad. Well, you just told me about it. Right, and do you feel bad? Yeah. See, I was protecting you. I'm actually kind of a good guy.